everybody. I am back. It's Ebony Joy here with another episode of Coco Love Talking Sex. And this week's episode, we're going to be talking about, y'all know I keep my notes right here. We're going to be talking about a closed mouth. Don't get fed, literally and figuratively. Okay. So we're going to start the episode off right with some good energy. Yes. Get some good energy up in here. Cleanse the space. Get all up in there. <laughs> all right. So, let's start. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I went out. Hold on, y'all. I don't know why this didn't keep burning. Um, so, we're going to get started. Um, get a couple things out of the way. I am not a professional and I am not a doctor, okay, of any kind. I just love talking about sex. I created this space for black people to come together and talk about relationships and sex. And I don't think, you know, when it comes to intimacy and or romantic, there is no relationship without the sex. And there's no sex without having some sort of relationship, even if it's a friendship that starts to build. So, um, that is why we're here and, um, we're going to get right on into it. Okay. So like I said, this is episode five and a closed mouth don't get fed. So this is going to be all about talking to your partner about your sexual needs and desires, men and women. This is for everybody. Okay. You have to discuss what you want because if you don't you won't get it and unfortunately some people are selfish lovers they just are they might not even know that they are a selfish lover they might not even perceive themselves to be that way so if you don't tell them that you are being selfish of my sexual needs how are you supposed to get what you want and don't think that you are incapable of getting what you want or you shouldn't because you're going to scare them off or they're going to be mad at you or somebody's going to get an attitude about something. What? Why? Why would that even be an issue if you are in a relate? Now, let me say this. If you're in an abusive relationship of any kind, this video is not going to apply to directly to you, okay? I'm sorry to say that, but it's not. Because abusers can't see past themselves. They think they're seeing past themselves, which is how narcissism plays into the abuse, but abusers cannot see past themselves, okay? So I'm going to say right now that if you are in an abusive relationship, do what you can to remove yourself from that situation Get yourself to some sort of type of safety if it's that abusive, if it's that type of physical abuse or sexual abuse or mental abuse, if it's to that degree. Um, but this video is not for you, okay? Um, this is for those who are in a relationship. Uh, you know, they have sex partners or, you know, multiple sex partners or one sex partner. Um, they're in their boyfriend, husband, fiance. They just feel like they're not getting what they need, okay? So, like I said, you want to talk about what you want. But first and foremost, you got to know what you want. Ladies, do you know what you want? Men, do you actually know what you want? Um... I know what I want, so it's not it's easy for me to communicate what I want. And if I feel like I can't communicate to the person that I'm sexually involved with about what I feel like I'm missing in the act of sex, then it's not worth it to me. You got that? And it shouldn't be worth it to you. Again, my opinion. Take it how you want to. But you should be able to feel like you can be like, hey, 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 hold on, wait a minute, real quick, stop. Um, I'm going to need you to lick my entire pussy. Okay? The whole thing. Not just keep your mouth at my clit. Because when a man wants his dick sucked, he wants the whole shebang. Most men do. I have yet to come across a man 
that does not want his entire penis taken care of, including his balls. Okay? So, fellas, ladies, do you know what you want? Because if you do, talk about it. Tell your man that you want him to go down on you and that you don't want to just be fucked. Okay? Tell him that you want massages, that you like that part of foreplay. Tell him that. Tell him that you want, tonight you want it to be tender and romantic and not tired from a long day and we just getting it in so I can get some stress off of me. Because, you know, women like to do that too. Men like to do that. We, I, I think we all like to just be like, I just need to get a nut. And I'm not trying to, I just, just fuck me. Okay? Or sit on it or whatever. Tell him that if you don't feel like having sex but you down for some head, tell him that. Tell him every once in a while you want to be a pillow princess and you just want to lay there and receive. Because if you don't talk about it, they will not know. Nobody can read your mind. They might can make an assumption about how you feel, kind of. But how is that going to change anything? Because that's a guess. Communicate. A closed mouth don't get fed. If you don't say that you want it, whatever it is, you're not going to get it. And who? And then who's shortchanging who? You shortchanging yourself by not communicating. If you are in love with your man, you just. But. If you go, oh my God, I just love him so much, but think about that but and decide if that but is your fault because you haven't told him what you want, what you desire, what you feel like you need. If you don't want to lay there anymore and him just get on top of you and fuck you and roll over, you want more than that, you need to tell him. Tell him that you want to be choked. Tell him that you want your hair pulled. Tell him that you want him to hit it from the back and flip you over. Tell him what you want. Do a little bit of research. Porn is a good tool. Don't be ashamed to watch porn. Watch all different kinds of porn. It's all out there for a reason. Pornhub, uh, yeah, Pornhub should be your best friend. Get to know him. Get all up in him. Look at him. Review Click videos and see what's going on because that's how and I'll <laughs> that's how you learn about what you might even be interested in because you can see it and you can decide how it makes you feel and decide, oh, I want to try that. I don't know, it's something about it. And don't be ashamed and oh, and you absolutely, especially if you are just in a sexual relationship, that's it, that's all. You should be able to communicate with your partner about what you want in the bedroom, period. Because this is all about sex, period. So if I say, I want this, I want you to pull my hair, I want you to choke me, I want you to put a collar on me and pull me, that's what you tell him. Or vice versa, men, if that's what you like, if you want to be a subservient man in the bedroom and you're tired of having to always be the boss up and do the athletics of everything, tell her. And if he or she says, oh, well, I'm not into that, then move on to the next because there is somebody else who will do it and do it amazingly, who will have patience with you and give you exactly what you sexually need and desire. Open up. Don't be afraid to talk. Don't be afraid to talk. All right? Okay. Okay. Y'all know I don't like to keep these videos too long. So here we go. Y'all know how this works. Like, comment, share. Please comment down below. If any of this touches you, you agree with it in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Or if you disagree with it and you have something that you want to say, I'm open to hear it. Just be respectful. Because if you are disrespectful, you will be removed and blocked. Okay? So, yeah. Like, comment, share. Subscribe. You'll get these videos every week, y'all. Y'all know how it works.
And remember, all of this, all of this down here that you can do is free. Okay? So just support. All right, y'all. It's been real sex, peace, and harmony.